top. How's he gonna follow? Oh. They finally did it. They finally fucking did it. They gave Alexander Volkanovsky five stars. So, with Volkanovsky, of course, we already know his perks. Boosts his grapple defense whenever he's in the top position. Basically, plus three to whatever his top game is. Workhorse plot plus three when he's grappling on the ground. Stamina, plus three, moving around. That also helps with the lateral leg kicks that he's really filthy good at. The fast hands and uppercuts. That makes his, uh, basically his hooks and uppercuts at like 99 speed. <laughs> and his crazy legs. Uh, that also makes his um, roundhouse kicks the leg, the calf kicks the legs, switch kicks, all that fun stuff. That's going to be hitting, clocking in about 99 speed. So essentially, he's a fucking problem now. Although, there are some tweaks there that I didn't like. There's some stuff that got a little bit subtract, subtracted from Volkanovski and also from Max. Like for example, he has 98 cardio, right? Now, 98 cardio doesn't seem right. It should be 99. And numerically speaking, Max Holloway, for some reason, got dropped down to 97. Now, just because he lost to Alexander Volkanovsky doesn't mean that his cardio isn't at 100. How Volkanovsky beat him was by shutting down his offense. He had the cardio to do that, but Volkanovsky isn't the guy who's throwing 700 strike fucking totals and whatnot. So, shame on EA for doing that to Max. Like, there, there was no reason to drop his cardio or anything like that. But they gave a proper uh, buff to Volkanovski and he still is missing some moves above so I'm going to actually explain some of the stuff that's still missing for Volkanovski but his idol feels good but the, the ball look suits the guy suits the guy yeah yeah he his movement is a lot better for a lot better a lot better that is good that's good that's from the footwork buff so jab level four okay good good the straight should be a four that straight should be a four Lead hook, eh, three is fine. They can leave it at three. Now, the best thing about Volkanovski is on top of, of course, the level five calf kick that he has. All of his rear hand stuff play off of each other extremely well. So the rear hook, the body cross, body uppercuts, he, uh, the, the rear overhand. Couple that in with the spinning back fist threat that he also has because there was a nice little sequence against Jose Aldo. He, land, he uh, got his lead body kick parried and landed, like, raised Aldo with a spinning back fist right after that. His kicks are soft, but um, that's a problem. As you can see, his lead front kick, which he's used to create space pretty well, front kick and lead body front kick are all at one star. Those should be twos, and the rear body front kick should be a three. And the roundhouse kick is at a... Eh, okay, I guess two works. If they, get, they gave him the animation override. Eh... Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, that lead leg kick's a level 5, calf kick's a level 5, and you can, when you circle off to the lead leg side, it does a good amount of, not only damage, if they circle right back into it, but it also kind of helps you get off the center line and allows you to hit an angle, which is something that Volkanovski does well. Am I going to try and do that this showcase? I can try. Not going to guarantee it, especially if the guys are checking kicks, but yeah, his clinch trips are eh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, he has a single leg, double leg. That means he has both options. Yeah, for both turns, for both the single and the double. He can also change into the power single and the power double if you have a 30% stamina advantage after the first takedown gets denied. So you can do that by holding the square button after you hold L1 and forward on a stick. Ground transitions are still pretty solid. The BGJ transitions are also solid as well. Switches are good. And I'm pretty sure his combos, he should have been buffed to boxing combos level 4, but it hasn't been done yet, or his kickboxing combos. So, yeah, still missing some stuff off his buffs, believe it or not. But we're going to head into ranked championships. It's a featherweight and lightweight, so we're going to try to get one apiece in each weight class. So without further ado, let's get it going. Hey, yay. This guy with Holloway. This is one of my subs. Sub Cypher. This guy's pretty good. He's gotten uh, pretty good over the past, um... Few months or so. Pretty, pretty solid. He has Max Holloway, the other five star in this weight class. I believe the only other weight class that has dual five stars is Daniel Cormier. And, okay, of course, spin kick. And John Jones, I believe, in light heavyweight. Mm hmm. So, with Volkanovski, what he did in that third fight against Max Holloway is that he fainted a little bit less 
and changed the rules of engagements on fighting. Nope. Made sure that he engaged on his terms. Didn't necessarily stay in the pocket as long as Max would have liked him to. Because Max is better in extended combinations in the pocket. But Volkanovski did a wonderful job of winning the small exchanges against Max Holloway. And not giving him what he wants. So, against old boy here. Better dodge that one for our life. We're going to just keep sneaking in as much as we can. Check that kick. Yeah, he's pressuring with volume. It's allowing a short-term stamina to recover. So we're going to sneak in as many body shots as we can. And land chip damage. Nope. Went to get body T, but I'll take that. Whoo! Nice. That's a very anti-slip thing to do. Especially if somebody's trying to throw a slip counter after your lead hook. That spinning heel kick is perfect to throw. Good job. Mm-hmm. Volkanovski feels so much better now. Mm -hmm. nice going. So much smoother. His idol is moving a lot better. Doesn't feel like I have to reach as much. Crazy what losing all your hair could do. Maybe I'm a little bit more aerodynamic. Nope. There we go. That's the counter we needed. Two and three. Let's get it back for the drop. Second draw. We're going to get him out of here early. No, we're not. Let's go for the takedown. No, he, damn, I couldn't even get the turn. See, he's trying to fire right back when he shouldn't be trying that. Counter elbow for good measure. Lead overhand for the sit down. Gee, oh my god. Dude, you're like a roach. Alright, so while we're on top. So, what Buddy's doing here, that's kind of similar to what Max is doing. Max... He was trying to rely in the third fight on the same entries he had before that has success that Volkanovski has success with. But where Volkanovski changed the script of the fight was he actually started circling to Max's quote unquote power side. And yes, I know they can come in comment. Oh Max doesn't have power. He clearly has some power to sting people when he drops people. But that's a lot of it has to do with fatigue as well. When he gets people to start missing and overextending under shots, and Volkanovski is extremely precise. So, what he did was he circled to Max Holloway's right when he was orthodox, which is something he's not necessarily useful, used to. Start throwing the lead calf kick when he tried to circle in the other direction. And essentially stimmied Max's offense. Like, he never allowed Max to get into an offensive flow, which is what you're supposed to do. Great fighters make you make mistakes. And Volkanovski, he's... See, Aldo was a... Very, very, I mean, still is one of the best minimalists. Like, he'll do just enough to make you overextend. Just enough to get, to punish you and to discourage you from following up. Volkanovski takes that a little bit step further because not only does he try to discourage you, he makes you pay a lot harder. There we go. Oh, my shit. Is that knocked out number five? It's crazy what that footwork buff does. The full work buff, the idle. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Oh, let's go. Six knockdowns, I'm pretty sure. He's getting put through the goddamn blender. Oh, my God. Of course. Very Volkanovski is to get caught by an uppercut, but that's fine. That's fine. That's a mistake. That's something intentional on his end. <laughs> I tried shooting. Nope. This one, two exchanges. Notice every single time he goes, he circles a little bit with the, the stick. He starts to circle left, and then he comes back, and then he tries to fire. That's it, funk you. Right here. How many times you have to drop this man to get him out of it? Oh, my shit. Mm-hmm. There we go. Can we get him out? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think that was about eight or nine knockdowns before the finish. Holy shit. They got to call Usada on <laughs> Featherweight Volkanovski. Now, of course, I think if he would have played that a little bit smarter, use Max's kicks a lot more instead of just trying to pressure, 
pressure cooked me with uh, his punches and not really respecting the counter. After the first one or two counters, you got to be like, all right, this guy's not going to let me walk walk him down and just overwhelm him with a buzzsaw of strikes. But holy hell, Volkanovski, this is a well, well-deserved buff. Now, I'm hoping we can get a fight in lightweight. As far as I remember, I think lightweight, he's still just as good. I think it's just a slight reduction in maybe some takedown stuff and maybe uh, health-wise. But I would like to get in a fight. If I can't get another fight at featherweight, I would like to get a fight in at lightweight. But this was a pretty perfect performance. The finish that Volkanovski wanted against Holloway, couldn't get him out, but stunned him multiple times on a lot of occasions. I like this. I like this. Well-deserved buff. Well-deserved. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's go. This guy was hovering over Poirier and Oliveira, and he went with Oliveira. Exactly what I wanted. So, with Oliveira, mm -mm, yeah. A lot of Oliveira players seem to throw that, but. Mm. Oliveira is a very tricky. Ever since he got buff, it's very difficult to fight a solid Oliveira. Okay. Because his clinch work is so solid. I'm pretty sure he got his clinch strikes buffed. His kicks are good, although not fully buffed, as we can tell right there. And hold on. Oh? Okay. Okay. Alright. Hold on. That's the right punish for that. So if somebody's doing a retreat, you want to target the body in the middle of the retreat. Ideally, as soon as possible, so they won't be able to have the window to catch it. Because if you land that body shot when they're doing the retreat, the short-term stamina is going down. But I... This guy... Oh, I, I tried to go for the circling kick. Bro, I was trying to circle with the calf kick. Try to throw off his timing. The, the beautiful thing... I gotta say, uh... I used the circling kicks before, but I was watching uh, the Vegas event again. Just making some mental notes on a few things. And I remember watching MMA Troll. They didn't showcase the fight all the way. But MMA Troll did a good job of using lateral kicks to beat Prioxis. And I remember, I'm like, right, if you use the lateral kicks. Just like that. <laughs> it allows you to land at an angle. And it can actually uh, make it more difficult for your opponent to track you down with strikes. Now you still have to be aware of circling into strikes. Like so you guys saw a few moments earlier. I got sent down to the canvas. Not a knockdown, but you know, trip down. Onto uh, the canvas. This guy. He's doing a lot of false starts and entries. I like this. So you just got to be really careful with it. Because you don't want to go into a hook. And something that Vulcan is good at. This guy... Yo, hold on. He knows how to, this guy knows how to pace himself for five rounds. He's not forcing anything. I gotta work here. Hold on. He's, okay, I gotta find a way to explain this for uh, the regular, the, the casual audience to understand. Because I think a high level player can kind of see what I'm seeing here. Maybe somebody out there even aren't even aware of this. This guy's an all or something, or no, no, no. I've played this guy before on UC three. Just maybe he just got that much better. Good. Ah, uh, yo. See, I don't want to shoot the low single because it doesn't work as well as it did on three. Oh, that's my fault. All right. So for starters, when you use a retreat on UC three, you can usually get GA. Like, if you land a low single, the low single, you're almost going to get it every single time if the guy's doing a retreat. It's not going to work as well. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to shoot an Oliveira unless the window's there. But this guy's doing a fantastic job of disengaging and managing the clock. He's using that retreat to when I he thinks I'm going to go. Every time I try out the one strike, he's playing a little bit of footsies. Good job. And he takes with his one strike and he goes. So I got to really channel my inner Volkanovski here. And I can't get too... Here, look at that. He's constantly working the high and low block. Intercepting. Using the retreat. No! Ooh, he went for the spinning elbow. I thought he was going to go for the takedown. 
Look at that. He hit the minor back step into the cross counter. Okay. <laughs> These are some low strike totals. 18 to 12. See, it takes two to tango. Very two to takes two to tango because I don't get fights like this often. Only against I get got kind of get fights like this against Advaita, but he tends to be pretty uh guessy when he needs to be. I get I get a lot of fights like this with uh, Go Ten Nine Nine though for sure. Nope. One knee. Look at that. He throws a knee. Doesn't throw the elbow. And use the retreat. See, this is. Hmm. See, this is what would make this fight so good if uh, Volkanovski wants to be the backup for Oliveira and Malkashev. And the thing is, Volkanovski Oliveira doesn't have to be worried about any grappling threat in terms of a takedown from Volkanovski. Rather, it's going to be the clinch strikes, but. Oliveira does such a good job with his frames, wrist control, with his own knees and whatnot. And it pose a pretty significant problem for Volkanovski and Oliveira would be willing to grapple him. Unlike his last few opponents. Well, Jung tried to... Oh, yo! No! My God! Now we gotta get this guy down. No fucking shit, he denied it. Hold on. Nope. We gotta get out of here. Nah, 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 we cannot allow him to get on top of the minute left. Dude, impressive. He's changing up the target so well. From the calf kick, the teep up the middle. Very, like, very Oliveira-esque. And these, those are some pretty significant strikes, too. I don't know if we're going to be able to do enough to get a rally for the round. I think I won the first round, but the second round... I am... Thoroughly enjoying this fight. See if he does a leg kick when I duck him in some deep shit. Ah yeah yeah, I am not getting the timing right on that. Huh? Let's go. All right, so we got the stun there. I don't know if that's enough to steal back the round, and the reason why I'm saying that because. A lot of players tend to emphasize the rock. The type of rock matters. Like if it's a hard rock, if it's like a super hard wobbly rock. That was at the end of the round. And he landed some pretty actual legit strikes to the to the leg. To the, oh, no touch. Now you're going you're to you're gonna get my respect whether you like it or not. I got I to gotta work around this guy's guard. He is on point. Now we're just, he's not just mainly using blocking as a form of defense, it's, it's the footsies, it's the retreat, and he's trying to win, just like what I do, this is what I do, he's trying to win small moments while being extremely defensively responsible, holy shit, well done, damn. Mm. We're gonna have to open up our offense a little bit more. There we go. We gotta force this guy to open up a lot more. Nothing unnecessary. Be aware of any slip counters and keep just. There we go. You gonna you make me have to make me turn to fucking Vegas mode, man. I gotta start throwing out the the whole toolbox at this guy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, we won that. Intercept and dodge, intercept and dodge. And I noticed that. Oof. He's not. Everything that he's doing seems is very intentional. Like that. See that? Now he, I could tell. Mm, I could tell he threw that leg kick after the slip because he thought I was gonna step in with a jab after or a hook after. And he's. Throwing in the double threat of the double jab cross mixed in with the nice leg kick punch, threat as well. It's just really smart work. Nice job the jab there, and that that fucking hook and back fist make it so it's not safe to slip. Well done. Oh, 
See, this is what this game is capable of. We have two players willing to use everything at their disposal. Okay, no rush, no rush. I would have preferred if he went Poirier, to be honest. Because with Poirier, I wouldn't be worried about like him trying to fucking take me down or something. But I got to keep that in the back of my mind. Because he's already went for one clinch attempt. I'd like to not to go for it. Stop my turning takedown from the back clinch. Check that kick again. So I'm sucking my teeth a lot. I tend to do that when the guy's landing more than I would like them to. It's a switch kick. Oh! Ah! See, that head kick, I knew he was going to pull. And when I know my opponent's going to try to pull the fourth strike, that's when I usually try to throw in a stepping head kick. And that usually results in a pretty solid flash kill or a very significant knockdown. But ran out of time, they were round four. See, this is why I would love to see this fight. You know, we know with Oliveira and Makachev, it's going to be a very grappling heavy fight. A lot of clinch body work. A lot of just clinch work in general from Oliveira. I expect that he's going to try to wear on Makachev that way. But Makachev is also well versed in getting people down off a of hand fighting extreme well in the clinch. It's, Volkanov, it's, just, it's just so interesting because of Volkanovski's skill set. Speaking of skills. Okay. I think I gotta beat. I I gotta read on his on his rhythm. He doesn't necessarily have a read on mine, but I'm st I'm starting to read when he's low blocking, when he's high blocking. So I think if I can throw him off guard, attacking the head in short burst. Gonna feel my way in. Just try to capitalize on an entry right there. Yeah, one, two. He's not slipping his head. He's not throwing the, the slip two counter. He's not gonna expect that. There we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That bleed through. One, two, and upper. Spinning elbow. It's alright, we're fine. There we go. Won that exchange. All right, now things are starting to shift in our favor. Is he going to shoot? No. Fuck. Almost got him. Just up there. Tide's turning. He's still using the retreat, so he's st his stamina still has to be pretty solid. Look at him. Every time I throw one strike, one jab, he just steps right out the way. But... Got him on the entry. Got lead hook his money. Shoot his head off. Nope. Let's go. Let's go into stack. Going to stack. Going to stack. 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 Yes. Two. Four. Five. Yes. Let's go. Great fight. That's an incredible fight. Wow. See, I wish I could have. This guy actually made me think a lot harder than I would have liked. Like, this wasn't me using a low-rated fighter and having to think. This was me using a legitimate fighter. And I'm having to think a lot more about not just my entries, but how am I going to safely exit. And that's the type of fight that we got to see. You know, Volkanovski has Max's number. There's not really anybody left for him at Featherweight. I'm not really interested in seeing him fight Josh Emmett or anything like that. He's deserved the right to be the backup for Makachev and Oliveira because we don't know what's going to happen. As for uh, him being five stars now, well deserved. He's still missing a few buffs. So please remember that. But he is, he's the fucking man. There's, there's not much else to say. I made two videos saying, EA, give this man five stars. And they finally did it. Once they get the rest of this buffs in, it's going to be a goddamn problem. Mirror 17, I'm out.